if I ever go over the house, I'm taking you the ball. You gonna steal it? Yeah, I'm, I'm stealing. Brett, it. Brett, hide the ball. Brett. I'm stealing that for real. If Sean McVay has breathed near you, yeah. you're gonna be a head coach in the NFL. Right. Troll him, Saints fans. Look how dumb he looks in that. Welcome to Sims and Lufko, and it is the best weekend of NFL football of the year. Divisional round. You've always felt this way? Yes. I mean, the last two weekends. I mean, wild card weekend's yeah. great, but this one is the one I really look forward to. It's the eight best teams in football, and Without I think we literally got the eight best in there this year, which is refreshing to me. Are you saying my Eagles are one of the eight best? They are. A year yeah. of slander? Yeah, I'll, I'm going to say it. Hey, you were the better team on Sunday afternoon. I know that. Appreciate and I'm so sick of hearing about you and the Eagles. I can't even tell you. Oh, about. my gosh. That's just the truth. When you watch all the games on TV this weekend, all the mm -hmm. pregame shows, other than laughing at bad jokes, no offense to your dad, or you this weekend, sorry, <laughs> are also going to make it all about the quarterbacks. And we get it. But it's the trenches where games are won and lost, and some of the best offensive lines are still alive. Yes. So these are the real matchups for divisional round playoffs. First one, Chiefs-Colts. Yeah. It's not just Andrew Luck and Patrick Mahomes. It's, yeah, it's going to be Quentin Nelson, the guard for the Indianapolis Colts. All versus, pro. All pro versus Chris Jones. Defensive wow. tackle, 14-plus sacks. But, yes, that is going to be a huge point in the football game. The Chiefs' secondary stinks. You yes. have to be able to get pressure uh, on an Andrew Luck Good with luck. your front four. Good luck getting there. Yeah. Exactly right. But that will be a key matchup that I watch, especially that being up the middle, getting into the quarterback's face where he can't step up or see passing lanes. That night, Rams-Cowboys, it's going to be about Dak and Jared Goff. They came out in the same draft right. class. Or Gurley and Ezekiel Elliott. But well, what's the real matchup? The real matchup goes up front once again. You're at the Dallas Cowboys offensive line, arguably the, one of the best in football, but Zach Martin versus Aaron Donald? Wow. Are you kidding me? Zach Martin was the original Quentin Nelson. Exactly right. I would say he's the second best guard in football now behind Quentin Nelson, and Aaron Donald, come on, let's be serious. He is going to be defensive player of the year. He is the best defensive player in the league. That matchup will be huge because when you have a Zach Martin where a team like Dallas can go, we don't need to help you. We think you can handle him oh, by man. yourselves. That, of course, frees up the rest of the O-line to do things, but if it becomes an issue and yeah. then they have to help change the whole game then mismatches happen in other Who wins areas that matchup <sighs> i gotta go with aaron donald you can't not i, I, I was gonna yell he's at you an if unstoppable you went, Zach, force yes. right uh patriots chargers philip rivers tom brady oldest matchup of quarterbacks ever <laughs> right i'm already annoyed by it yeah what is the real matchup i always look in playoff football if with the new england patriots the first guy i got to go to other than gronk. brady is gronk right gronk is the key piece for the new england offense i know what you're gonna say and you know it's you're gonna say there's a Gronk stopper on the Chargers. There is. Derwin James wow. is the guy I would look at to go. That matchup will be key, not only just in coverage, too, Lefko. I mean, we've talked about Gronkowski is one of the best blocking tight ends in the history of football, and Derwin James plays basically middle linebacker for the Chargers. So his ability to I'm even— I'm thinking Derwin James in this matchup. In the pass game, I certainly am. Uh, I think he— But, you know, the run game is where I worry about the Chargers a yes. little bit. But either way, fascinating matchup. And the Sunday night game— Interesting. Hmm. It's the Saints and the Eagles. Oh. And, you know, did you know that Nick Foles and Drew Brees went to the same high school in Texas? I did. They Austin-Westlake. Uh, yeah. Yes, I, I, I was very you ready to that. hear about that for seven hours. Yeah. But what's the actual matchup in that game? I hate to be boring, but I'm going up front again. And I think that's the great thing about the playoffs right now. We have a lot of the top-tier D-lines and offensive lines still available. It shows yeah. you how important it is to win those wars. But your man, Fletcher Cox, who I believe – is up there with Aaron Donald as the best defensive tackle in the no NFL. No doubt. Right yes, he's as He's above though. Chris Jones. Yes, he's a, as a total player yes. agreed. He is above Chris Jones. There's no doubt about that. But him Against versus him. Andrus Pete. Your man crush. My, my, my man, yes. Big legs, uh, big butt, all of that. But One of yes, the greatest combine body performances in the history of the it, it really is fascinating. But he, again, is a top-notch guard in the NFL. The Saints want to run the ball. And again, just like we talked with Donald and Zach Martin, the ability to be able to trust a guy like Andrus Pete and go, oh no, we think you can handle Fletcher Cox by yourself. Now who, you can have an extra receiver, an extra running back. No, exactly right. Exactly yeah. right. You don't have to move the offensive line in certain directions. I think all four of these matchups will really dictate a lot of what goes on in the full game. Yeah, but you're taking you're taking, you took the defender at all. You're taking Fletcher Cox. I am taking Fletcher Sims Cox. Sims just said the Eagles are going to beat the Saints. No, I didn't. Come on, Saints. Let's do it. Stop. I don't want to hear left go anymore. Stop. Let's go, Saints. I'm George Kittle. I'm Trent Taylor, and, and you're, you're watching, watching Sims and Lefko. Mm. 
Thank you so much, Trent Taylor and George Kittle, the second best football friends I know. Hey, Kittle, I heard you've been trolling my boy Lefko he over there. DMs with me DMs. That- you better watch it, or I'll show you who the real king of the arm farm is, man. You better watch it. Uh, Aaron <laughs> Rodgers has a new head football coach, and it is the former now offensive coordinator of the Titans, Matt LaFleur, young coach that was under Kyle Shanahan and Sean McVay. And right. at this point, for NFL coaches, if Sean McVay has breathed near you, yeah. you're going to be a head coach in the NFL. Right. I am very disappointed. I felt like the Titans' offense was not that great this year. If anything, I thought Mariota regressed. Am I crazy to believe that? I don't think you're crazy to believe that. I want to make sure I get this right here. Matt LaFleur does have, I've always thought this, the potential to be a head coach. He is that type of guy. I think this is way too premature, though, to be put in this position as the head coach of Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. And yes, to your point, I would argue the biggest weakness of the Titans team last year was probably their pass offense. So just because you worked for McVay or Shanahan doesn't make you like the grandmaster of offense as well. Follow-up question. Right, go ahead. Is the offense better than the offense that Rodgers has been playing in? Yes, he will have more ideas than Mike McCarthy. He certainly will. That's where McVay and Shanahan and his background with them will help him. But this is what people are missing. Like Kyle Shanahan was an OC of top five offenses with Matt Schaub and Andre Johnson and the Houston Texans. Okay, then he went to RG3 with the Washington Redskins. Then went to a Atlanta Atlanta. and had the MVP season. You're right. McVay built a great offense in Washington that took over for Shanahan and was one of the best play callers for a few years before he became the head coach. So Mm. we're all just looking for this young guy, but you also got to look at results and facts of the matter. And I think that's where it's being missed right now. They're just going, like you said, young, McVay, Shanahan, hired. I hope they get a good DC too, but really my big hope is... Keep petting. I just, yeah, you're right. Right. I just want to make sure if if Aaron Rodgers and LaFleur are spending those late nights in the office diagramming up some plays. Sure. It could be cool if they grow together. It could be, no but doubt. But right now, I just I'm did, underwhelmed. It's just a little early. We I won at McDaniels. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I know you played one game in the playoffs, and you had a moment that was almost spectacular. Yeah. Sorry, E. Del Shepard. I don't want to bring up bad things. Yeah, don't. But if you could imagine making an incredible play in the playoffs. It's got to be like the greatest feeling of all time. The playoffs in general are the greatest feeling of all time. I didn't even win my playoff game. I played a pretty good game against the Washington Redskins, but I knew the second I walked into the stadium that day, I said, man, there is something different around here today. Everybody's jazzed up. We came out for warm-ups, and the stadium was 80% full, and I was just like, okay, we're ready for some big-time football here. And LeVar Arrington and people were yelling at me, and I was like, wow, they're mad already. We yeah. haven't even started. So there is definitely a different buzz. And that's just the playoffs. Yeah, seriously. So our buddy Lamar Woodley, he made one of those incredible plays in the Super Bowl. Whoa. And you can just feel oh. how awesome it must have been to do it. I'd have a shrine in my house just about the one play. Just for you. Yeah, just be like, damn, look at what I did to win <laughs> us the Super Bowl. <laughs> I would say in like the, the pantheon of Super Bowls, Steelers, Cardinals, was like one of the greatest, most exciting games I've ever seen. You ended that Super Bowl. So like, take me through the play, man. Like that was nuts. You know, it was like we had a timeout before and I remember Coach Tomlin put me inside like, woo, we need a big play. You know, that's the kind of you see on TV in the movie. Like, come on, man, we need a big play from you. Like, man, I ain't gonna make no big play. Like, (laughs) all right, coach, you know, I got you. You know, they got Larry Fitzgerald, tallest receiver out there at the time. Kurt Warner can throw the ball. Yep. So the best thing to do is to stop the ball. Like in basketball, stop the guy with the ball. So I'm, I'm rushing, and Kurt Warner's looking at me. So I, I, as, he, as I went out, he dipped in. So I dipped out, and I seen Kurt reaching back, and I just kind of like Superman. <laughs> Superman. Yeah. Hit the ball out. Sack force fumble. Brett Keys will jump on the ball. There's probably two moments where the crowd goes nuts, right? One when you smack it out, yeah. and then like the realization afterwards. You know what, it didn't feel real at first. Going into that game, we felt like we was gonna win anyway, so I already had my camera on the sideline. What do you mean you brought a camera down? After halftime, I snuck it on the you field. You snuck it on your jersey? I snuck it on the field. <laughs> so what were you doing, like selfies? Hell yeah, yeah, I was recording myself. And uh, I remember uh, Brett Keyes asked me, he said, Lamar, man, you want the football? I said, no, nah, man, keep it. Why did the hell did yeah, you say what that? Were what are you thinking? thinking? He caught me at an exciting time. Right. Being a good teammate. Man. Yeah. And to this day, I'm still trying to get that damn ball back. Nah, don't get if that, I ever don't, go over, If I ever go over the house, I'm taking the ball. You gonna steal it? Yeah, I'm, I'm stealing it. Brett, Brett, hide the ball, Brett. I'm stealing that for real. <laughs>
When the Eagles beat the Bears, I was so excited. And then I realized that Allie spent our money on Chicago. So I went back to him this week and I reminded him of the luck of Nick Foles and I tried to convince him to start betting on the birds. I thought the Bears were gonna cover, Allie. I thought the Bears were gonna cover, pal. Oh man, the Eagles have no chance. The Eagles are gonna lose. Did you see that game? Yeah. Did you see that doink doink? Double doink. Did you see that doink doink? <laughs> The Eagles, again, because they won, are going to New Orleans, a place where they lost by 41 points earlier this year. They started off as a 10-point dog. It's come down, I'm giving it to you, as an 8-point dog. Saints are favored by 8. Drew Brees at home after a bye. Heck, they rested week 17, too. Eagles going to New Orleans. Going to New Orleans. Who that city? Saints off a bye. So they might be a little rusty, but I like Drew to come through. Covering eight against your Eagles. This is perfect. This is what I needed. <laughs> Eagles are winning this one, too. Yes! Allie, you superstitious. Allie is a mush. He's a mush. Yo, He's a mush I'm not going to lie. When you walked in, Adam, I was like, I'm going with the Eagles. Then I thought about it. I'm like, nah, you got to go with Drew. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Magic. Eight points is a lot. Did I just mess up? Oh, man. So for the second straight week, even though I told him not to do it, Ali is betting against the birds, and he's taking the Saints. Okay. And you're probably going to side with What's him What's the again. spread? Eight. Eight? Okay, I'll give you this. I'll take the Eagles to cover the spread, but that's all you're going to do. Sorry. Guess you're what? Gonna, I'm a gambling I'm guy. I'm going to do the I... L dance on here next week. What's the L dance? You go like this. My kid taught it for me in Fortnite. Yeah. I'm sitting here next to a guy who's doing Fortnite dances from his kid who wants to give me the gracious decision of giving me the spread. Right. I don't just want the spread. Good. You know what line I want? Right. The money line. Oh. Why? Because the Eagles and Nick Foles are continuing their reign on the NFL and nobody can stop them. And what are you doing? I'm doing my... Hat. Let's go, Saints. I can't take left go anymore. Who Thou gave him this? Shall not beat thy Saints and thy Drew Brees. I'm gonna steal all of Troll this from you because the Jack boys. Troll him, Saints fans. Look how dumb he looks in that. Look I how look real. You look better. Yeah, you look better. It's an improvement. Good job. The Eagles. You know what's weird? Because I want to say they're gonna win, but I don't want to jinx them. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's all about that's you. My real that's right. Four Sims. Peace out, homies. I go am Saints. The L-E-F-K-O-E. Man, let's go Saints. Let's go Saints. Let's go Saints. He doesn't let's really go really Saints. Really Saints. I really oh, want the Saints. Oh, oh, oh. Really? Yeah, I do. Damn. I can't hear you. I don't Enjoy hear the it games. Anymore. Go Birds. Had enough of this Eagles crap. What do they call that? A muse or what do they call that when uh, like a not Kim a, Kardashian wears like clothes for a company? Um, uh, yeah, not a muse. A model. Uh, I don't know. It's a word like me. Brand ambassador. No. Yeah, it's something else. It's a word. I think it's still a muse. I think it's, okay. yeah. I just, I'm reading in the noun. It says, a, a wo especially a woman <laughs> who a is a source of an artist's inspiration. Hey, thanks for watching Sims and Lefko. Right. This Kim Kardashian conversation is the perfect way to close out the wild card round into divisional. Have a great day. Hey, what's up, homies? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the BR YouTube channel. Man, you're such a millennial. <laughs> uh, also, while you're here, we have a lot of other videos. Check them out. And then what time does our show come out? Wednesday, 8 p.m. Be there or be square. He ruined it. It was really close. <laughs>